nearly 9 out of 10 people suffer from financial stress. This lunar eclipse that is coming is so strong that this is your chance to get out of your financial stress. Great gurus from all over the world knows about this ancient Sri Yantra that if you use it, if you want fast results, in my experience, using Eclipse is the best time to manifest. And you combine the Sri Yantra, you will be so surprised. I will be performing a specific ritual with a prayer that will energize this Yantra, this Eclipse. Visit my website, eatreadlove.me. You're probably wondering, it's the weekend. What is Sal doing? Well, it's the weekend... Oh, okay. It's fireworks. It's fireworks. It's fireworks. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. <laughs> I'm here building the momentum and then <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna come back again. Okay. So you guys are wondering. Okay. <laughs> Getting more fireworks. Oh, it's not 4th of July, that I can tell you, but you do know what we're celebrating, okay? It is Labor Day weekend, and of course, in Labor Day, we are going to have fun. And to add fun to your Labor Day weekend, if you use the code down there, it's going to flash. It's called Labor Day 20. You can enjoy 20% off store-wide, okay? So this is the time that you can take advantage. Start your holiday shopping early. That's what I always say. You're going to ask me, you get your crazy Sal. You create because in, in our practice, in our culture, okay, in the Philippines, September is the start of Christmas season. Yes, it's true. You can ask anybody. I didn't invent that. <laughs> so, so they start. Christmas party starts in September. Oh, dear Lord. And then it lasts until Chinese New Year next year. So the whole country is in holiday, September all the way to February. <laughs> That's why they're all fun over there. Okay. <laughs> let's see here. Aqua. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, six of cups. We're going to do your career, your finances. Okay. Love and relationship. I'm just going to remove these guys. Okay. If I scratch my notes, it's because uh, it's just hot. Okay. So for the Aquarian, there is the total reconciliation. It's been brewing. Right? It's been brewing. Okay, with the Six of Cups. I'm going to talk about the Sri Yantra later on. Of course, people, there's an update for this. And um, yeah, so we're talking about the manifestation for the eclipse that is coming, which is the lunar eclipse happening in your second house. Definitely the money time for you to remove any obstacle or hindrances with regards to your savings. Okay? Like you can't save money or you're having issues bringing it in. This is going to be the best time for your sign. Okay? So the Six of Cups is here. Sorry, guys, with my nose. Uh, the Six of Cups is here because you feel, especially Sun is in the seventh house for you. There's someone that you connect with, could be a Leo, that you have this strong, magnetic, you know, like chemistry, attraction, and it's just like, it's just right. You know, you feel like it's right. So making amends and making peace with this person, I feel like that's going to be your priority. Okay? Uh -huh. Because you have here the Six of Cups. That's that's your thing. Okay? That's your thing. Let's see. Love is in the air. The moon. Okay. Now, the moon for you is... Uh, okay. Hmm. So, you just got to be careful. Um, this could be like... If it's astrology, you may have unpaid debts. Cards. Loan. You know, like that banking, finance. This is also the time that you can manifest it out of your life. The moon card. Okay, now... Oh, thank you very much. These are abundant people who's getting their Sri Yantra when you hear that. Um, let me explain. Okay. I know probably some of you guys already have used the almond remedy that I gave out before. Um, I always use a combination of logic and, of course, magic. Okay, so logic, magic. Now, magic is taboo. People hear it, you know. You know what's more taboo? Okay, people don't talk about their money problems. And I'm here going to tell you that you can use magic as well to get rid of it. And it's not like, oh man, you guys are just so, uh, not you, okay. The world has become so robotic that they forgot that we are, uh, we're, we're energy beings. But then they put you into a mindset that you're a machine. You work. You're a robot. Lies. You can easily turn your life around by changing your frequency. Okay? So you are not a robot. So don't believe that it's like, oh, you work hard and then this and that. No, no. You can change your problem, especially with finances, 
just by changing your frequency, your energy. But it, of course, it involves cleansing. No, people don't do cleansing no more. No. And I, I always coach you guys, you got to cleanse morning and at night. If you brush your teeth, same thing as cleansing with your energy. You will have this, I call it like spiritual cavities that gets attached to you. So it's fine to brush your teeth, yes. But if you can only see your energy, there are certain things that gets attached to it. You probably commute, you travel, you know. There are things that get attached. Mm. So when was the last time that you cleanse? You wash your face, isn't it? You took a shower, you take a shower every day. So understand that just by cleansing, you can change that, you know, like that issue with your debts. Mm. So when is the last time that you cleanse? That's why I give this free. This is for cleansing. I'll talk more later. Huh? Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Wands. Um, you just feel like you're giving up. You know, it's like, I'm so tired. I'm so tired, you know. But there's someone that support you, though. I like this. So you get the love, but you don't get the money. Ooh. Okay. If uh, there was a choice, love or money, I'm asking you. You Clearly, I know what I'm choosing, right? What What is Sal going to choose? Okay. Well, I already have the money. <laughs> So I can choose the love. <laughs> you see, it's called prioritizing. All right. Now you can have all the love in your world, in your life. Because you prioritize first what is important. What is important is to have a stable life. You can't love someone when you're in debt with the seven of pentacles, waiting for your finances to improve. No, you're passing on an energy to someone that, you know, like they would you would you bring it to the person that you love, Six of Cups? We wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't bring that misery to someone that I love. So I would be stable and prepare and then love and choose that person. Exactly. Now, here with the Six of Cups, you probably have chosen love first, which there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -mm. You know, they came in the right place in the right time. Now you guys are in love with the Nine of, with the Seven of Pentacles, with the Nine of Wands. You've been working hard and, and harder and there's nothing that, you know, there's nothing changing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Eight of Swords. Ten, ooh, Madre de Dios. And of course, if money becomes a problem, it will affect the relationship. Ten of Swords with Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. It's always a problem between couples. It's not like, oh, it's, mm. you got alien celebrities who is at each other for millions of dollars, right? Uh, at least they have millions at this point to fight about. No, because there's nothing stable. It's... It's it's part of a foundation of the relationship, right? So eight of swords and of ten of swords with the eight of cups. Since money is an issue, now you don't understand anymore. Say I don't even know if I want this the relationship, because it piles up. It piles up. It piles up. Mm -hmm. So take that f problem first. Deal with it. Put it. You know. Um, uh, how do you call this? Uh, it's a pyramid. You know. It's like a priority. You know. Like straighten that part first. You know, love will always be like, you know, how grandpas would say, it's like, you know, you know, provide for yourself first. They will come in the right place at the right moment. You don't need to rush it. But a six of cups, I feel like you met a soulmate, you fall madly in love, and then that's it. Uh -huh. But what do I know, right? I don't know anything about this. Really? Mm -hmm. Ten of swords with the eight of cups with the chariot. And then seven of wands. Now you feel restricted. Now you feel like I, I'm not growing anymore. Seven of wands with the chariot. You want to break free. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Now the chariot. Not, I'm not saying that if you have money, like the relationship will always be sweet. Okay, but you guys would definitely not be hungry and, and also worried about rent. That I can tell you. Mm -hmm. You got a chariot and a seven of wands right here. Okay. Um, you feel restricted. You want to get out of this connection. So first it was good. Okay. Then some issues with money could be a couple thing. Okay. They're not picking up their weight. It's only you who's providing food for the kids. And then, of course, it's going to pile up. It's going to pile up. Okay, You're not the first, you know. At this point, there should be a, a community for, you know, like single mom. I, I hope there's a community for single mom. Right? Is there? Is there? Is there a community for single mom? Because six of cups, in case it could be a single mom. Because majority are single mom. And, of course, if you're a bro who's watching, you're a single dad, congratulations, you're one of every 10 million. Okay. Because the other 999 million probably, or 99 million, are single mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a support group. That would be ideal. You know, because they, you know, they know the problems of each other. And they can help each other, you know. 
Because I see this is the problem now. Now you're going to do with the chart and seven of wands. I can't do this anymore. The other person, you guys argue, fight. Okay, first it was good. It was, all relationships are good in the beginning. All relationships. It's always the wonderful stories, how you guys met, this and that. The next story is how you guys divorce. Five of Swords with the Two of Pentacles, unsettled issues that has layers and layers and layers and layers and layers, okay? And I'm not being pessimistic. I love love. If there's anything I breathe is love. Mm -hmm. You guys have arguments here. You got a death card, see? That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm. So the death card is your transformation. Okay. Um, it could be when sun moves uh, out of Leo because this is the luminary. So the sun enlightens the seventh house. So what it means, um, it brightens okay, the issues in the relationship. It's a luminary. So now you see the issue. The issue is it's just you and it's not them. The issue is it's like you're the one who's worried for everything and they're not, not them. Okay. I don't care how much you love a person. But when it's piling up like this and they're not helping, mm -hmm, at some point, you will draw the line and you will say, enough is enough. And that's a death card. And that's why with the chart, you're packing your stuff, you're moving on. And finding yourself. Everybody finds himself after divorce. 100% guarantee. <laughs> Especially the single mom. Because they realize, okay, that it's really just them who's putting the family together. And then they try to catch up on that, uh, what they have lost. But this is a very dedicated person with a chart. Let's just say you're not a single mom and you're just trying to get out of this relationship because uh, that's the empress right there. You will see yourself that you didn't need this person in the first place. Mm -mm. I never see, I did it. I don't see them. I see the love. I see the connection. I see the past life. But I didn't see them as an instrument for helping you um, build you because that's what the relationship is like, you know it's a team um you know it's a commitment to each other to be there for each other and at the same time like uh how do you call that um it's it's like this it's it's not just a support but they accept you for who you are they don't judge you that's 100 percent in a relationship no judgment you understand each other they are they, you know that's there and then, since you guys are vulnerable and you guys don't judge each other, it supports the other person to be free. And they can be there and vice versa. And this person was never there, like that to you. Okay? Never. So this is the abundant life that you're going to. Okay, Aqua. Just uh, when you end this connection, Ten of Swords. Okay. But you could be stuck with this person because Saturn is in the first. You're still learning. It's okay. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. High Priestess with the Four of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, they'll reach out to you. If you are Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles really having issues with finances, okay, I may look like a billion dollars, okay, but I can tell you okay, mm, where I have started. Mm -hmm. okay. Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles because people who watch this, you know, different people in, the, in their channel, they feel that, you know, like, um, they're well off this and that's like no, you know, it's like don't you know, I am very much relatable I'm very much grounded when I was born, you know how people would say, uh, you know born with a silver spoon There was not even a paper plate. I always say there was no paper plate when I was born There was no plastic spoon or fork not even uh, I forgot the cup <laughs> that we call it here All okay? right, not so uh, solo. I think it's called solo cup. Yeah, mm-mm -mm. Um, so I know what you're having with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. You're always like waiting for the money, waiting for the money. Yep, I know. Okay. Which I can help you, of course. You got a Five of Wands right here with a Sun card. But it takes a willingness to remove. Uh, when I say willingness to remove. So you're in a relationship. Are you willing to remove that as an... Because that person is an obstacle. person is an obstacle. Uh, as soon as you're willing to that, you can come to me. Okay. And this is the Sri Yantra. The Sri Yantra is what I will energize during the eclipse. It's pre-order, which means you're not going to get it today or tomorrow. It's pre-order. So you can Google what pre-order means, okay? I will ship it after um, the eclipse. But you can tell me your intention, your situation, and what you're manifesting. Also your birthday, okay? And I will energize it for you. It comes, today's the last day, guys, to get the free 18 karat Piao Moonstone and Obsidian. I don't know if I can still get the Piao, okay? So I can't guarantee. But if you get it right now, um, I can still guarantee. But after, I don't know, okay? 
um, you will get, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot that we're, I'm giving out free because I believe that free or giving it out um, is more effective. You'll get the jasmine. Um, you will, uh, the jasmine incense. You will get the, of course, this magical cash box right here, which I have used for five years to double my income. And also the ombel and an eclipse report that is uh, um, gets sent directly to your email. And when you get your kit, it will have this little, okay, a little, you know, this is instruction so that you guys understand how to use it, the, the works, the works, okay? We do free shipping in the U.S. and we ship to more than 90 countries across the globe. And kay jama na sa Pilipinas or in Southeast Asia, soon, okay, will be in the app in Shopee over there. So you can shop till you drop. Okay, ooh, I see. Mm -hmm. Your person wants to continue to work things out. Lovers, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. But you're stressed. Uh, you're stressed. Uh, um, you know, I, I'm, it's not in my position to tell you to end it. Not at all. You know, at some point, you will just realize, it's like, you know what, it's true. Um, you know, I have tried my best and there's nothing that I can do anymore in this connection. But, you know, really just end it because it's not helping you grow. Nine of Swords, you feel stuck. I mean, there's a lot of things still that you're thinking about the relationship. So it's okay. You know, just take your time. Nothing to, you know, nothing to stress about. Because your person feels that the two of you are really meant to be lovers. But this is a person, King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Either they're more about their own happiness. Because King of Wands is a bachelor, bachelor Earth card. So they're, they never really change. They were never... A couple couple they're more about like oh yeah we're good but we're not you didn't say me you don't feel it you you, you you don't see in their action right what you deserve is an emperor okay so the emperor is someone that you can of course be with because that's the same vibration okay emperor and empress that you have so you match yourself with a person that you vibe basically um, some people don't understand their vibration yet and then they go with someone but people who understand their vibration they connect more deeply same goals you know or if that's if it's not same goals same um how do you call this vibration where their life is headed all right so this is not a person who's just gonna suck you dry of your energy this and nah, no nah, no nah, no nah. This is a person who's gonna complement your life. So and I always say this also to the you know when you know in my other oracle, my oracle deck. So relationship, right? They're an addition to your life, not a completion. So anybody in your life, they add value to your life. Okay? So they're just like the fry, but you're the whole combo meal already. Okay? So that's the person. They are addi an addition, not a completion. You got me. So what you're going to get now is an emperor, if you're willing, again, to walk away from this. And it's amazing. And you say, you let me know. If you're, man if you're manifesting in the Sri Yantra, you tell me um, you want the divine masculine or divine feminine, if you believe in that. Because this is also divine feminine, divine masculine. For people who doesn't know the, the Sri Yantra, it's the harmony of masculine and feminine. Okay, So there is a lot of... Uh, um, how do you call this mysticism involved with the Sri Yantra and all the triangles, everything that is, you know, how it is made, how ancient it is as well. So I'm just, you know, like it's it's one of those things that, you know, you need really need to have in your home. And I'll teach you where to put it also. But this is already energized. OK, so I wish you guys have a wonderful. Oh, don't forget Labor Day. Use the code. It's down there. And I'll see you guys again.